Sorry. So, just tell me about your first meeting with Madhuri. When did you first meet her, and how was it? I saw a picture of Madhuri's in a in a film magazine, and I thought that she had an extremely interesting face. So I just uh, braved it and called her up and said, "I'd like to shoot you." I think she was a bit taken aback because um, um, she was just a novice then. She'd just done two or three films, but she did arrive at uh, at my place at about twelve o'clock on a Sunday. And the moment she entered, I said, "My God, this is the face of the Madonna, as sculpted by Michelangelo's Pieta at the Vatican." I just thought that she was she had the most ethereal face and the most lovely, sedate expression. And we shot for about two hours, and I said that this is a face that has a tremendous promise. Thereafter, uh, I think I've had about 68 photo sessions in the next 12 years, and uh, she's amongst the stars that I've shot the most. And I have a tremendous joy and pleasure actually seeing a very wonderful girl and a wonderful talent blossoming right in front of my eyes and growing to such stature not just nationally but internationally when i saw her i felt that her makeup was a little in excess and they had rounded her lips trying to make her look like madhubala now i have never understood this particular phenomenon oh she is madhubala the second oh she is suchitra sen the second but why can't she be madhuri dikshit the first so i just said you've got a wonderful lip line don't round it. In fact, you have a very delicate mouth. So I just asked her to erase the extra color round her lips. And suddenly, I think the most perfect lip lips emerged in front of me. I really thought that she was very patient, extraordinarily sharp. She took every bit of instruction when I just told her, look a little softly, look away. It's not important how beautiful you are or how your clothes are. The power of a portrait is always in the expression. And I don't think she ever forgot that. And uh, she's often compared to Marilyn Monroe. And, and you're the person perhaps responsible for it. No, the point is Mickey Contractor, the great makeup artist, who's also my colleague and whom we worked for several years together, he one day said, look, I've got a blonde wig and uh, can we use it? Now, I looked at the wig and I said, God, this is exactly like Monroe's wig. So I said, put it on. And uh, of course, we didn't have the clothes to give her like Monroe did. But I said, I do have a lovely leather jacket. Maybe we could give her the bus stop look. Bus stop was one of Monroe's big films. And um, I gave it to Madhuri and she wore it. And I said, uh, Madhuri, you'll have to look like Monroe. So she just looked at me. I said, try to think what Monroe was. Monroe is extremely seductive, she's very sexy, she's, a, she's got a come on quality, but at the same time she's very innocent. She does not know that she is being so provocative. So therefore there has to be an innocence about it and there also has to be something which is extremely seducing. You just had to give her these keywords and suddenly Madhuri disappeared and there was Monroe. Now the funny part about it is, I mean yes, uh, it was used for the cover of Filmfare. Ralph Ahmed loved it. Uh, and uh, thereafter, when I was doing my first coffee table book uh, called Faces, and I got a lot of the pictures printed in London. And when I took this negative to London, and there was this great master printer called Adrian Enser, he made prints and he said, who is this girl? I said, she's also my cover girl. So he said, you know, last month we had from America a television unit that was testing out girls for a telefilm or was it a serial based on the life of Marilyn Monroe and they tested about 250 girls and I did all the prints and I don't think any of them looked as authentic as this girl whom you've got in front of me. So do you think she'll be interested? I said not on your life. She is India's number one top girl and she's not going to do some silly television serial. So. The picture did have a certain authenticity and when you have a look at it, you'll realize that she just doesn't look like Mondro. She encapsulates or she emotes like Mondro. Now that is one of the things about Madhuri. She, she internalizes what you tell her. She, it's not an external or a surface phenomenon. She understands and she brings it through her expression, she brings it through her body language and she brings it through her eyes. And that is what makes Madhuri so special. And 
this incident happened before Madhuri became Madhuri, you know. I mean, uh, she was on her way. She was on her way to becoming but Madhuri. You, you, you perhaps noticed the glint in her eye that she would become the superstar of tomorrow. Oh, yes, I think so. Because I think, uh, you see, I think in the film industry, uh, <coughs> beauty is certainly very important. Talent is also very important, but the most important thing is temperament. Temperament with talent is an ideal cocktail, is an ideal mixture. And all the people who have a fabulous temperament always have made it big. If you've got talent and temperament together, then you become a star. But even if you don't have that much talent, but if you've got a, lo if you've got a very good and an accommodating temperament, those people also go a long way. But I think Madhuri's just got the perfect amalgam of talent and temperament, which has made her the star. And as you said, that when you saw her first, you were taken aback. Perhaps it was the same door which we entered and she was standing there. What, what was the thing that you noticed the most about her in terms of features, in terms of her face? What, what did you notice? It's the eyes. <clears throat> it's Madhuri's eyes. They're like limpid pools of honey. Fabulously large, very expressive very very um, polite in the sense there isn't any there isn't an iota of of pride or conceit or or the fact that oh i'm so beautiful in fact she doesn't have that demeanor at all i don't think she thinks that she's beautiful there are many other stars i know with as much or maybe less beauty who really think that they are really the bee's knees that is another attitude of Madhuri's which has taken a long way. She doesn't take her beauty or her talent for granted.